Inside the Beltway with John Fetter. Talking to Americans outside of Washington. In the heartland. In our cities. And in our communities. About what matters to them. Outside the Beltway with John Frederick starts now. You're on Outside the Beltway. I'm John Fredericks, and I am your blowtorch of free speech in America, and thank you for being with us. I'm filling in for Steve Gruber. Steve will be back on Monday. So for all his fans, thank you, Steve. Deservedly some time off. Let me um, just start. As you know, President Trump indicted yesterday by a communist district attorney pinned there by George Soros, Alvin Bragg. Folks, this is the saddest day in the history of of this country since 1776. We now have officially turned into a banana republic where government agencies are now utilized against its own people to punish political enemies of all, all stripes against the current woke left-wing regime. This is the brink of a communist takeover of the United States. I've been sitting here on my radio show and TV, telling you for a year, we're not fighting Democrats. This isn't Scoop Jackson. This isn't Fred Harris or Frank Church or Jimmy Carter. These are communists, and they're coming after us. The indictment of President Trump yesterday is an indictment of our way of life. Is it an indictment of our freedom? It is an indictment of our liberty. It is an indictment of what we stand for, of what we believe in. It is turning the Judeo-Christian nation upside down. This country has gone woke, left, and it's all leading towards a communist dictatorial takeover. And I can't put this in starker terms. Let me just lay it out, folks, for you this way. The indictment yesterday of President Trump a candidate for president on ridiculous charges that the misdemeanors have already lapsed. Statute of limitations is gone. Other prosecutors at both the federal, state, and city level threw this case out. Nothing can be proved where this money went. No one cares. It's not like it, paid, it was paid in cash in a bag. This indictment of the leading presidential candidate in the United States, he's leading the Republican field by 30 points. He's leading Biden in every single swing state. This indictment, I don't know what they expect to do with it, but this is not only the indictment of President Donald J. Trump. This is an indictment of you. This is an indictment of us. This is an indictment of your children and your grandchildren. This is an indictment of your country, of your voting rights, of your republic. This is an indictment of your soul. And this will never go away. The outcome is irrelevant. This is really what I want to emphasize today. Whatever happens here is completely irrelevant. It's the action that has turned the country upside down. You now have to look over your shoulder. You now submit a form to the Internal Revenue Service. If you're a Trump supporter, if you're an American First supporter, you now have to be concerned that you too will be targeted just like the journalist Talab on Twitter. Everywhere you turn, everything you do, you have to wonder, are you going to get indicted? Are you going to get arrested? Because you posted on social media, or you sent out a tweet, or you put a sign up in your yard. And folks, this is really the message that the communists masquerading as Democrats are sending. Fear. They want you to be afraid. They want you to stop talking. They want you to stop fighting. They want you to stop going to school board meetings. They want you to stop being precinct chairman.
They want you to stop voting. They want you to stop challenging stolen elections. They want you silent. They want you to go to work, pay taxes, shut up, and go home. And they're in charge, and they'll run it. And you will get a scrap if you're a good boy or a good girl and a pat on the head. That's it. This is where we're headed here. The president yesterday released a, released a statement. Uh, I'm going to read some of it. It's pretty long, but let me just read some of it. He said, this is political persecution and election interference at the highest level in history. Think about that. Because the other part of this, again, the results of this are relevant. The indictment will not stop President Trump from running for president, right? You understand that. A conviction of a woke left-wing communist jury in New York City will not prohibit President Trump from running for president. This is what we all need to grasp here. All the fake narrative going out there about if he's indicted or if he's convicted, he can't run, he can't serve, it's all false. This is all a fake narrative that they invented. Two things prohibit someone from running or serving as president. One, you have to be born in the United States. Two, when you put your hand in a Bible on January 20th, you have to be 35 years old. Other than that, there's no constitutional restrictions. So it doesn't matter what they do. So this isn't about, oh, what's going to happen to President Trump? Nothing. He's going to win. It's much deeper than that. Because it's not about what the result of this is. It is about the action and what they have taken away from us. This is our indictment. This should ring to the bottom of your gut and soul. What do you tell your children? Comply or you'll get arrested. Comply. Wear a mask. Get a vax. Take your guns. Comply or you get arrested. This is basically the message the communists are sending. And we have one opportunity. We have one opportunity to get this country back. And that's going to be in November of 2024. And I'm telling you right now, more confident than ever, President Trump is going to win this election. They're not going to be able to steal it. They're not going to be able to cheat. I don't care about the machines. There's going to be so many of us that will overrun everything. We are going to get the most massive victory in the history of this republic. Hundreds of millions of people are, 100 million people are done with this. Biden is going to get crushed. Obama is running the country. They roll the dice because they have no other mechanism to beat Trump. So they have to get these charges out there and hope they can turn enough people. That's all they can do. Otherwise, they lose. Here's what else he said. From the same time I came down the escalator at Trump Tower, and even before I was sworn in as your president of the United States, the radical left Democrats, the enemy of the hardworking men and women of this country, have been engaged in a witch hunt to destroy our movement. A witch hunt to destroy our movement. You remember it just like I do. Russia, 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 the Mueller hoax, Ukraine, Ukraine, impeachment, impeachment hoax, the Mar-a-Lago raid, and now this. This is not Trump's indictment, folks. This is our indictment. Trump's indictment is your indictment. Trump's conviction is your conviction. If there was ever a time in history, in your life, listening to me right now, that you have to stand up and stop doing whatever you're doing and get involved in the political process some way Somehow, it is right now. And you're going to have to do this. First thing to do, 
If you're not joined your local Republican Party, find out where it is and do it. Be a precinct chair. Do something. The only way we defeat this and get this country back is by overwhelming the system. We have to overwhelm it. There are a hundred million of us. There is a handful of them. We have to overwhelm the Republican Party apparatus and rip it from Ronna McDaniel and rip it from the bureaucrats in there. We have to overwhelm the electoral system so that the number of votes that we have is so massive, there is simply nothing they can do. And you do that by getting involved. This is a dark day, folks, in this nation's history. Because what you witnessed yesterday was the political weaponization against a political enemy of the current communist regime trying to do everything they can to impede his opportunity and impede this movement. But we're not going to let it stand because we are going to overrun the system with bodies, volunteers, and votes, and we will crush them forever in 2024. Be optimistic, be chipper. This is the wake up call. And we're going to be there. I'll be right back.